WMAQ, WMAQ FM. It's 9 o'clock in time for Fred Waring. Fred Waring to bring out the beauty of the song. Bring out the beauty of the song. Johnson's Wax to bring out the beauty of the home. Bring out the beauty of the home. Child. Makers of Johnson's Wax present Fred Waring and the Pennsylvanians to brighten your morning. <laughs> Here's your host each Monday and Wednesday morning for Johnson's Wax, in my opinion, the greatest conductor in the nation, Fred Waring. I think that's a lot of baloney. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. That was Baloney Bill Bivens. This is Fred Waring and all the Pennsylvanians and music we hope you enjoy. Three more days before Christmas. Bill, I got your present. <laughs> Three more Christmas carols to begin this morning's program. They're all English and all arranged by Tom Scott. And first, the, from the 13th century, Shazani. A little child there is he born. Susani, Susani, Susani. And he came forth on Christmas morn. Alleluia, Alleluia. To save all us that were forlorn. Alleluia, Susani, Susani, Alleluia. Now Jesus is the child he came. And Mary, my she is his name. Hallelujah. And so our sorrow is turned to gain. It fell upon the high midnight. Susani, Susani, Susani. The stars they shone so fair. Alleluia, alleluia. The angels sang with all their might. Susani, Susani, alleluia. Susani, Susani, alleluia. From the 16th century. Bye, bye, 
good many of the English carols are called wassails. That's a type song you sing to wish everybody good health. And here's one that sprang up in Gloucestershire, hence the name Gloucestershire <laughs> West. Here to Terry and to his right eye, pray God send our master a good Christmas pie, and a good Christmas pie that may we all see. With a lost in gold, we'll bring to thee, what they, what they, what they all over the town. Then here's to the maid in the lily white smock, who'll trip to the door and pray back a lot. We'll trip to the door and pull back the pin For the lefty jolly wassailers in Wassail, 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 wassail,
Oh, I'm to use you right the one I was hoping to see. Oh, 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 You mashed my sled. Get it up. show you where it came from. For many years, Miss Doris Moon has been the harmony teacher in the Santa Monica, California High School. In one of her classes a few years ago were our own ace arranger Roy Ringwald, Ken Darby, all know Ken, NBC's Bob Stringer, and violinist Fern Buckner, who's, who seems to be practicing taxidermy in Santa Fe lately. That's quite a talented group. Now then, last year, one of Miss Moon's pupils was 15-year-old Bruce Sutherland, it was composed a setting for a Wordsworth poem called Minstrels. Roy Ringwald has arranged it for Bruce, and we dedicate it today to Doris Moon's harmony class in Santa Monica, Minstrels. <laughs> Dedication. 
getting close to Christmas. More than that, it's getting mighty close to Uncle Lumpy time. All right, Bill. Putting those two ideas together, we say calling all children for a holiday treat. Here's Uncle Lumpy. The story of the Lord of Christmas. Well, now, Orly got in bed and went to sleep on Christmas Eve to dream of all the things that old Santa Claus would leave. But all of a sudden, there was a mighty funny sound. He woke up and ran to the window and looked all around well, the first thing he saw was Santa and his sleigh. The sleigh was tipped over and the reindeer had run away. Old Santa, he was standing there looking like he'd cry. And when he seen Orly, he heaved a big sigh. He says, oh dear, what a Christmas this'll be. We were just coming down when we hit an old tree. I guess all little girls and all the little boys will wake up in the morning and they won't have any toys. Well, Orly says, my, what a shame that'd be. But wait just a minute, I've got an idea. Now you just wait and I'll be right back. And he put on his clothes and went down to the railroad track. He stood by the crossing and it wasn't very long till the little switch engine came a puffing right along. Orly says, engine, come along because we've got a lot of work to do for old Santa Claus. And he puffed back to Orly's house right through the snow. Orly says, now you just wait here for me. And he went out in the woods to the happy bird's tree. The happy bird said, I'll help. Be gay. We'll laugh and sing when bubble comes our way. And Orly got the jingle and chewing his bubble gum. Then the old bull fiddle says, I'll be glad to come. Well, Santa Claus was waiting and he loaded them with toys and gave me each a list of all the good girls and boys. Then Santa and the engine went puffing down the road. <laughs> and Jingle and the happy bird picked up their load. Laugh, be gay. Oh, good. The old bull fiddle says, Orly, let's go. And they started through the snow. Well, I want to tell you, they were really quite a sight. Hopping and a puffing and a laughing through the night. Santa made the engine go flying through the air, much to the surprise of everybody everywhere. They'd land up on the rooftop just like Santa's sleigh, and it'd leave his presents, and they'd be on their way. Dingle and the happy bird went running all the way, up popping and a singing just as happy as a jay. The happy bird would fly up to all the chimneys, throw the presents down and say, Be happy, please. <whistles> now, Orly and the fiddle went a-hopping everywhere, and when it came to chimneys, they just couldn't get up there. So Orly would take the presents and leave them at the door, while the fiddle played carols so they couldn't play no more. worked all night and they didn't miss a one. Just as it got light, Sandy says, we're all done. Now all the little children will be happy as can be. And I can go back home and have a nice cup of tea. But Orly says, Sandy, you have to stay here. Your sleigh's all busted and you've no reindeer. But just then they heard some teeny hoof sounds. And here come the reindeer and leaps and bounds. Aha, says Sandy, I see you came back. But we sure can't travel with the sleigh all cracked. Well, the little switch engine gave a puff and a blow. And he says, So they loaded up the sleigh and the old reindeer. And Sandy got aboard. But he says, listen here. Why don't you all come along? The engine wouldn't mind. We'll go up to my work shop and see what we can find. So the happy bird and fiddle and Orly and Dingle too jumped on the train and away they flew. <laughs> Way up by the North Pole, the little engine stopped and they all went in to visit Santa's workshop. Mrs. Santa Claus was there and she gave them lots to eat. Then old Santa says, come on folks, it's my turn to treat. He took them to his shop and started loading them with stuff till they just couldn't tote it and they hollered enough. Then he says, I'm afraid that you'd better go. Folks do worry about boys, you know. But only he says, Sandy, you didn't get a thing. Don't you ever get nothing for all the presents that you bring? Well, Sandy, he grinned and he says, well, I believe that it's just a little better to give than to receive. Then the engine gave a turn and while Sandy waved goodbye, they left the North Pole and went sailing through the sky. They got back all right and unloaded all their things. Merry Christmas, she's a happy bird and flapped his big old wings. Merry Christmas, says the fiddle. Same to you, says Dingle. Says the engine and he gave his brother Jingle. And as they went on home... They all heard Orly call a merry, 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 merry Christmas to you all. So, I would like to 
wouldn't be surprised if a lot of last-minute shoppers might be thinking about your little Ollie album right about now. Gerard Kirby, any ideas from you about the holiday rush that's ahead? It's when company is coming to your house and coming in an hour or so that you really appreciate Johnson's cream wax. Because when it comes to making dull-looking furniture bright and lustrous, Johnson's is the fastest-working furniture wax you can buy. Johnson's cream wax actually gets dirt so quickly, dries so quickly, polishes so quickly, that it's almost as fast as using a dust cloth. Try it on tabletops that you want to be clean and glistening, on dining room chairs, bookcases, or smudged woodwork. You'll see for yourself how fast they become brilliantly clean. I'll tell you why that amazing speed is possible. It's because Johnson's cream wax not only cleans in a moment, it also dries in a moment. It doesn't stay wet, catch dust, because it doesn't contain any sticky oil. So today, tell your dealer you want Johnson's Cream Wax, the fastest working wax furniture polish you can buy. You'll always be ready for company on a moment's notice. Because remember, Johnson's Cream Wax gets dirt so quickly, dries so quickly, shines so quickly, that you can clean and polish furniture almost as fast as you could dust it. Nicely said, Derrick. Your suggestion puts the house in order for a cozy Christmas Eve, and that's exactly what... Kathy and Bowen had in mind when they wrote the song, Christmas Eve, to be sung by Joe Marine. Homes are bright with glowing candlelight on Christmas Eve. Silent night when all the world is bright on Christmas there's a feeling of joy you treasure as you kiss me the mistletoe, finding presents that bring you pleasure. Some of us, it looks like a white Christmas Eve, so this closing cow may be quite appropriate. See amid the winter snow, the Glee Club and Stuart Churchill. See amid the winter snow,
Mr. Fredwaring, Waring, thanks again for coming. We hope you've enjoyed the program. And this is Bill Bivens reminding you that the Fred Waring Show is brought to you on Monday and Wednesday by Johnson's Wax. On Tuesday and Thursday by the American Meat Institute. And on Friday by the producers of Nitlet's brand, Old Colonel Corn. When you go shopping today, remember to say Johnson's Cream Wax. Try to be with us tomorrow, morning and evening. Think of Thursday for the Pennsylvanians and General Electric. Very special show tomorrow night, our very fine scripture show. And see you tomorrow morning at the same time. Drive carefully. So long. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. WMAQ and WMAQ-FM, NBC in Chicago. <laughs>